In Siri part one, we talked about personalizing Siri for ourselves, like how to call home or how to get directions to the office. In part two, we're going to take it a step further and say, hey, how about calling my spouse or call my brother or my mother or give you even give you directions to your brother's office. And it's really simple. In order to automate Siri to call our spouse or mother or son or brother is um, make sure that you created your personal contact card that we talked about in personalizing Siri part one. You might want to watch the video for that if you need step-by-step -step instructions, but basically create a contact with as much information about yourself as you can. And then the second part of that was to go into um, settings and then general and then Siri and make sure that you have told Siri who you are by attaching your contact card to Siri. And that's a quick, easy way to do it with minimal errors uh, possible. So once you've done that, I'm going to go back to, I'm going to back out of this. You don't have to back out, but I will. Um, um, the next thing that we're going to do is to go into contacts. And what you're going to do is create a contact for who it is that you want to associate. So your mother, your brother, your spouse, um, whoever it is. And I'm actually going to use my mother. And so I'm going to create a contact for her. And you could do it, again, for your husband or whoever it is that you that you want to do that with. And then I'm, and for company, you don't have to put in um, a company name. I'm just going to put in here mother so that you know that I've created that for, for this uh, demo. Again, it could be your brother, whoever it is that you want it to be and add in phone numbers and other information. And then add in address, so scroll down and um, add in that information. Once you have all the information filled in for your contact, so your spouse or your mother, whoever it is, then go back to um, all your contacts and find your contact card. So I'm gonna go to Francie Demo and once you get to your contact card, then go ahead and tap Edit. And then scroll down until you see Add Related Names. And if you tap on that, tap the plus sign, it gives you the option for Mother, which just happens to be first. But if you tap on Mother, maybe you did it for your father, your parent, your brother, sister, child, friend, spouse, whatever it is, you can tap whichever one you did. I happen to do Mother. And then tap out here on the right where it says related names, tap the I, and then find your related name that you created. So Doris Black. And then um, you can do another one. You can say tap add related name, and then this could be father, or it could be whoever it is, brother, sister, and so forth. And again, the more information you filled in on your contact, the more you're able to automate. And same thing with father, daughter, etc. So create a contact for card for all of the folks that you want to relate to you, to you and to your card. So tap done and then uh, it shows here that I have Doris as a related name. So now I can go to Siri and say, call my mother. Calling Doris Black. And then it calls Doris Black. And again, if I have my hands free, um, if it's plugged in, I can say, hey, Siri, call Doris Black, and I never even have to touch the phone. So again, you can do that with your, any relationship that's listed there on, um, on the related names. There's multiple ways to do this. Um, you can also do it audibly using Siri. Um, I just find that sometimes she doesn't quite get the name right, or if you have a unique sound or to the name, that it doesn't always match up. And this way is pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> There's no mistakes. So... Um, Hope you have fun with that, and uh, it's a fun little trick. Have a great day. If you learned something, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe. And you can see all kinds of tips, tricks, and app reviews at iPadWisdom.com.